ability to be in control of your own game experience is a very powerful concept. There are no accidents in a game like this. The player is free to interpret everything on their own. That's what's great about the game, and that's what, as developers here, is, is terrifying about the game. There are about 30 or 40 of us. We've been together for over 10 years at Bethesda Game Studios. And this is the core team that's worked together for Fallout 3 and Morrowind, Oblivion. And this is our third Elder Scrolls game with Skyrim. It wasn't a question of whether we were going to do a fifth one. It was more, how is it going to be different? There is so much stuff in the game. It is an orders of magnitude larger and has more things in it than we've ever done. Actually involves a lot of math and timing and a lot of iteration. What are you going to be able to pick up? What are you going to be able to eat? What are you going to be able to craft? All of the little things are what we obsess over. On some level, we get ourselves in trouble by trying to make the ultimate fight dragons game, the ultimate be a warrior game, the ultimate mage game, and the ultimate thief game, and the ultimate assassination game, all of these kind of different styles. In total, we have around 315 spaces. That includes dungeons, large dungeons, small dungeons, exterior play spaces. We try really hard to put all this detail in the world because we don't know what the player's gonna do. You can kind of go wherever you want in it. At the end of the day, as long as you make a great game, that's all that matters. You take a break from it and you come back, you still get the hairs raising on your neck. Anyone can come up with a cool idea. It's a lot of hard work to make these games, and that's what makes the difference.